Yummy-looking fruit. <gasps> hmm? What's that? It's a watch. Did this happen? Maybe this watch did it? We found a magical watch. <laughs> Wormy wants to play a prank. <laughs> Come on, time, stop. <laughs> Gomo and Wormy are excited about playing another prank. are getting out of hand. Bomi is calling the kids over. Oh, 
Papa, what are you doing here? As time stopped. work just one more time. Again, magic watch. Friends are playing with pinwheels. <laughs> are you having fun, kids? <laughs> wow, there's yummy fruit hanging from the tree. All right, let's pick some fruit. Hey. 
succeed this time. that the tree was in pain, so he ran out to see if it was okay. Oh dear, the tree must have been in great pain. While consoling the tree, Gomu fell asleep. The tree got all better because Gomu went pat a pat and took care of it. Seeing Gomu shivering, the tree gave him a small present. on the tree all healed and Gomo is very happy. <laughs> Gomo, the tree and everyone else pat a pat. <laughs> Oh. 
Parapa Gomo's Eighth Story. Uba and the Firefly Lamp. Toto is waiting for his friends to come. Oh, where's Uba? Oh my, Uba! What happened to your eye? <laughs> the next day... <laughs> oh, now you have a bump on your head. <laughs> the day after that... <laughs> oh dear, what in the world happened to Uba? made your nest dark so you've been bumping into things. The sun is setting. Firefly has come to Uba's nest while looking for flowers. Oh, you want to light up Uba's nest by putting fireflies inside a jar. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how bright! The firefly lamp is complete! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Aha! So if Uba lets out gas, then his tummy will shrink. Uba, a little harder! Fireflies want to get out of the jar, too. Goodbye, fireflies. Fireflies have returned to brighten up Uba's nest. <laughs> Thank you, fireflies. Patapakumo's fifteenth story. I have a cold. Gomo and his friends are playing dominoes. His face is all red. Toto, are you sick? Day. Thanks to Gomo, Toto's cold is gone. Oh boy, it looks like you need to clean Toto. Huh? 
Dodo, weren't you all better just now? Dodo's pretending to be sick because he doesn't want to clean up. Wow, Gomo has found a recipe for making cold medicine. <laughs> okay, let's make cold medicine for Toto. <laughs> For pretending, Toto. <laughs> 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 Story The World Inside the Well. Hello, Gomo. 
I see you're playing ball. To the well. <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> Wormy is going down the well to find the ball. <laughs> Be careful, Wormy. Something must have happened. <laughs> Gomo and his friends are going down the well to rescue Wormy. Wormy, just hang on. Crystal Cave. Oh, who's that? It's a little goblin. Hmm? Why are you crying? because his horn broke off. a whole group of goblins. Wormy has been captured by them. Yikes! They got caught by the goblins. Woo! <laughs> 
with both Wormy and the ball. Thank goodness! Story The Tale of the Magic Feathers. It's another happy day on the Firefly Farm. <laughs> Gomo and his friends are playing in the chicken coop. <laughs> wow, it's a storybook made out of leaves. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful peacock in a forest. The peacock painted the forest in pretty colors with its magic feathers. <laughs> but one day, a strong wind blew and the magic feathers flew away. The magic feathers flew off to the land of blue, the land of yellow, and the land of red. When the peacock lost its magic feathers, the forest lost its colors. The peacock cried tears of sadness. <laughs> oh, the kids have gone inside the storybook. <laughs> Gomu and his friends are going on an adventure to find the peacock's feathers. <laughs> Toto? Hmm. 
to hear the rest of the story. Huh? Okay then, let's go find the last red feather. As magic feathers returned, the peacock painted the forest in pretty colors once again. Thank you, children! The End <laughs> You want to hear the story again? Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful peacock in a forest. 